Hey guys, this is Shinx and welcome back to another 7 Daily Scenes Grand Cross of Light and Darkness video. So, in this video, the maintenance, the 1 hour maintenance ended and there's a change of banner. So, in this video, I'm gonna go through the change of banner and whether you guys should summon it or not. And yeah, I did some last minute Merlin summons. So, I'll be adding that to the end of this video. And I wasn't expecting them to have the notice where they show like 10 minutes till server close, something like that. So, yeah, it covered mo some of my animations. So, yeah. So, okay. So, the thing, the new thing is actually this Green King and Blue Bun banner. So, okay, they are not new units they're actually the old the normal units and i think they opened this banner to how to say they they, they put in this, this banner because of the rates so if you did not know by now right the this king is actually really 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 good damage dealer to the uh gray demon and the Blue Barn is actually very de uh pretty decent against the the red color fat demon. So most likely this banner is for that you to like if you're having troubles find uh using a u if you don't know who which you need to use for this boss, yeah. Okay, so the rate up Okay, instead of if you notice the Merlin banner they had the, the rates, yeah, so SSR is 3%, the rate, rated up unit is 0 0.5, which is, to be honest, not that great at, at all, like, a lot of the time you'll be summoning dupe SSRs, etc, etc, so, yeah, do take note of that, and, okay, so, this banner, because there's not, there's no new units, no new SRs, no anything. I would recommend you guys not to summon, like, unless you really, really want to go for dupes. Like, as you guys know, the Demon Meliodas is out, and a lot of people, you guys want to get him. So, if you really, really, really need coins, that banner, most likely you can summon on it, and... Yeah, I'm skipping on the Demon Meliodas because I wanted the Merlin because I couldn't get the Gacha version. So, yeah. And this Merlin is actually decent because of her shield. So, right. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to get Demon Meliodas. Tell me if you guys uh, got him or not. Like, I want to hear your opinions on how after using him, how do you feel? Is he really, like, worth your coins etc yeah so okay without further ado let's just skip to the breakdown of the uh units okay so this website in case you didn't know is where the all the seven daily scenes unit can be found or most all the released ones and yeah i'm i show it to you guys be below and if you want the link i'll link it in the description down below so you can find it and okay, so the king. This is the forest gu forest garden king. So the build wise, you wanna build for him. Her, him is the attack crit damage build. Reason cause is I'll explain later that he has a pretty high crit chance. And okay, the crit damage. In case you're wondering how you, are you gonna get that uh, equipment, is through the PVP. So every time you get the PvP reward, you get the chest and that that's where you get your gears and okay. So cosmetics. Uh I don't think you you guys should yeah. So basically as you can see this one right here is basically the one with at the banner. So yeah, is the evolved clothes. Okay, so skill one. First configuration, Bumblebee. So Basically, it's just a pretty decent damage multiplier attack that applies Fatal. So, 
what it does is it increase if it hits and it crits you do uh crit them your crit damage will be times two which is very very strong so i heard that the optimal team for running gray demon is actually this skinny green king the hellbram who else uh a healer and I can't remember who is the last person. Yeah. And Ghostle, I think. Yeah. So because you want this uh configuration bumblebee to use it as uh the damage. And his skill 2 is actually okay, it's not that relevant for the Grey Demon because he's he's immune to all status. But it yeah, debuffs. But if you have it, so what it does is actually it inflicts 400% damage to a single target. It applies Ruin. So, what it does is it removes target's debuff and inflicts plus 20% damage for each one. Basically, let's say the enemy is being shocked. The Gil Sanders, Ignite, basically he's burnt. And let's say he's petrified or maybe frozen. Okay. If you can stack all of these debuffs onto the enemy, right? For each debuff, okay, you remove all the debuff, but shouldn't be an issue because uh debuffs like shock is kind of insignificant. So you remove it and your attack will get 20% more damage. So it may not seem like much, but it will make a difference if you can crit, etc. So okay, he's out. Uh, fourth configuration sunflower. So this is without fate partner. So inflicts four hundred percent damage. It's actually quite low. Four hundred percent is like his goal skill also can reach four hundred percent. Applies crushing. So it ignores patience rate. If I'm not wrong, patience rate is debuff resistance. So thanks to one of the uh one of you guys for commenting. So it basically it means that the I guess if and the our opponent has debuff uh resistance, they can kind of prevent you to from uh inflicting debuffs. So this kind of uh ignores that. So it's pretty useful, I'll say. And I'm not too sure if it works on the Grey Demon boss or not. But uh, if you guys know, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I have a lot of things to know learn from this game. So, okay, when you put him with his fated partner, Dian, I think this is the non-big uh, giant version. Basically, when she converts to human size, it's the same thing, but it does 80, uh, 60% more damage. So, okay, not a lot. Okay, do keep in mind that the 400%, right, even though I said earlier that it's not a high multiplier, it applies to all enemies. So yeah, okay. Here's the interesting thing. So his passive is magic control. For each bar in the ultimate gauge, increase crit hit chance by ten percent. So essentially, if you don't use your ultimate, right, you can use, you can have an increase of crit chance by fifty percent, which is pretty nice because comboed with the bumblebee, you can deal insane amount of damage, and this basically that's why. Uh, one of my guildmates said that he's the hardest hitter for the Grey Demon. So, yeah. And take note of... Okay, then actually... Yeah, basically he's the hardest hitter. And combo with Gosa or something... Some other characters, he can do a lot more damage. Like, okay. As you guys know, right, Gosa's... The red coin Gosa, if you can manage to hit gold support, the one that ga increases the arts gauge, basically at level 3, he can give all stats buff. So definitely can help him do a lot more damage. Okay, fake combos, the two human version of Dian. And re other relationship will be the giant form Dian and the Helbram. This is the old Helbram, so okay. I don't think they are going to add the new Helbram as the fate. Okay, so 
Oh wait, his stats actually all his stats is the same as very similar to the blue king. So there's no issues with that. And okay, his five hundred attack is not a lot because uh not okay. It's not too little because Demon Meliodas has about like yeah, 542. And I'm pretty sure that is one of the highest attack stats already. Give me let me check. Character stats. Offense. Yeah, as you can see, Helbrum actually has the highest attack stat in the game. Okay, so Okay, so next will be the green, the blue bun. So blue bun is a okay. I forgot to say, yeah, this is a blue character. So okay, this bun is a bit different because you wanna build crit and damage. Uh, crit damage. Reason being is because of his skill. So this is skill. Skill one, it does five hundred percent damage and it applies rush, which ignores defense. Very very good and. If you can get it to crit and do increase crit damage, you do a lot more damage. So that's the reason why you want to build. It's optimal to build crit and crit chance and crit damage. Of course, building more attack is also okay, I guess. Yeah. So his second skill is actually a debuff skill. Inflicts damage. Okay, the damage is not a lot, but it reduces the target's attack. So it's 20, 30 and 40 so it's quite a lot of reduction and it's that's why he's useful for the red demon boss because he can help him deal less damage let's say if you couldn't get the status off and okay his ultimate body hunt inflicts 630 percent damage to a uh, enemy and reduce ultimate gauge by cheap very standard amongst the other bun and okay when you put him with his fate partner, Drain Spa, so it, in it reduces ultimate gauge by 5 instead and deals 720%. Very, very crazy damage dealer. And okay, this is passive. I like passives that like is pretty decent. Like, okay, this one is also pretty good. Like, okay, if you don't know Ghost's passive, even though it doesn't work so well, like for each turn, he doesn't do the. Uh, get hit right he plus 10 percent damage i think for the whole allies i think yeah so which is very very useful this one is not so towards the ally side but it's to the enemy side for if this unit isn't wasn't attacked this turn decrease the opponent opposing team's attack stat by 15 percent so you can stack it up to five times so uh five times will be 75 percent Decrease in attack stat, which is a lot. And but furthermore, if you stack it with the poisonous substance, you most likely will do a lot more damage. Eh, you'll most likely reduce them their damage by a lot. Okay, fake combo will be the two ski uh skinny kings. Like okay, <laughs> I know I know you all will say why are you calling it skinny kings, but the uh. This is what I learned from the chat, like, they call, kind of call it the skinny and the fat king. So, yeah, fat king is his other relationship. It doesn't have the fake combo. And, of course, Ban also have this jute guy. And, okay, so, his stats is actually very similar to the other Bans. So, the free to play Ban and the gacha, the gacha green Ban, that is not the coin one. And, okay. Both are actually very decent units, to be honest. So, if you want to summon, if you don't have them, and you are planning to get it, if you are not in need for coins, definitely, I would say, don't summon. But, yeah. Either ways, okay, if you want coins, definitely just drop on this banner, because I don't think there will be any other banners at the moment soon so they might release one more just in case so don't definitely don't go everything just do enough to get your five coins get your melodas and yeah 
So, I think that's it for this video. So, I'll be at attaching my last minutes Merlin summons where I dump about 210 gems for Merlin and in the end she didn't she still didn't came so yep if you want to see more seven daily scenes content i'll be doing i'll try to learn up all the things for the game quickly and yeah hopefully i can pass on my knowledge to you guys so okay if you want to see more content definitely consider subscribing to my channel and consider liking this video and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you I
Ha, ha, ha. 